First off, Armstrong, please accept my congratulations. Sir? I've been keeping an eye on you, Sergeant, and I've liked what I've seen. Sir? Congratulations. You've just made Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Excellent. Now, Lieutenant, I want you to meet Commander Gostowski, Special Forces. Gostowski. James Gostowski. Armstrong. Good to meet you, sir. Now there's something I want both of you to see. It was passed to us earlier this evening. Сорок восемь часов, полковник Блейк. За это время вы и силы НАТО должны покинуть эти острова. Если вам не удастся 48 hours, Colonel Blake. That's how long you and your NATO forces have to remove yourselves from these islands. If you haven't effected a complete withdrawal by 1800 hours on Tuesday, an entire attack division, two squadrons of helicopter guns, and 1000 of the Red Army's finest men will obliterate you. There will be no further warnings. I wish you a safe and comfortable journey home. Who is this guy? Looks like he's got a screw loose. You don't know the half of it. I've had our intel boys look into his background, and the file doesn't make pretty reading. His name's Guba. General Alexei Guba. He served five years as a commandant in one of Stalin's Siberian gulags, where they nicknamed him the Dentist. Why'd they call him the Dentist? No idea. Sounds pretty scary, though. And now he's back in the army, heading up the Soviet presence on Koguyev. So Moscow wants NATO off these islands. Well, the Kremlin's still denying any involvement in the invasion, and Washington's inclined to believe them. It looks like General Guba is in this for himself. God only knows what he's trying to achieve. 1,000 troops, sir? That's five times what we've got left here on Malden. Armstrong, I want you to lead a squad escorting Commander Gastovsky back to Everon. You know the resistance forces, and I need you to talk to them. It's important they cooperate with our special forces in the upcoming incursion. Get ready. You're leaving this evening. That must be our guy over there, by that fire. America, I didn't expect to see you again. It's good to see you, Thomas. Is Commander Slava around? I have good news for him. I, uh, well... Look, uh, kid, we're a little short on time. How about you take us to your leader? Ah, Americans. We thought your species was extinct in these parts. We came to ask you for your help. We think we can help you too. Oh, yes. Like you helped us before by fleeing this island the moment those Russians' dogs removed their safety catches. The fact is, sir, that NATO is just about ready to kick the Russians off Everon once and for all. But we need your help to prepare for the liberation. We've had a lot of broken promises from you Americans. Why should we believe you this time? Look, NATO had no choice but to pull out before. We were outnumbered and outgunned. But now things have changed. There's more of us now, and we've got the Russians on the run. <laughs> We will see. I was hoping to meet with Commander Slava. Is he here? Slava? He's dead now. Dead? We lose people every day to the Russians. There are not many of us left now. I... I'm sorry. Look, we will assist you as we can. Before he died, Slava had prepared some documents which will be of use to you. Information about the Russians' presence here on Everon. Thank you. I'm sure these will help. What was that noise? Novotny, Melish, see what's happening. Everybody, get to your post. Lieutenant Armstrong, I think you'd better leave. Please, take these documents back to your commanders.
Armstrong, you get back to the boat. Take those documents to Colonel Blake. I'm gonna stay and lend these guys a hand. Gostowski out.